Semen retention makes you divine. How you may ask. First, it makes you patient. Why would you be anxious if you retain the greatest essence in this world? Why would you be anxious if you already have the greatest gift that the universe could have given you? There's an epidemic out there of people with anxiety problems. This is the reason men are told to ejaculate constantly because it's good for the prostate and such. But this creates a weakened man that acts in a very unmasculine way. And women have to compensate for this lack of masculinity, so mental health problems become an epidemic. Then, men become women, and women become men. One can easily see an extreme unbalance in our culture right now. There's a lack of masculinity, and a lack of femininity. Call it soy boys or feminists, whatever. The key is this. Notice how a patient person is the opposite of an anxious one. Can you imagine an anxious god? Me neither. We, the retainers, can achieve whatever we concentrate on. So, no watching the news, no time for negative people, and no energy wasted on bad things. But we, the retainers, are not only patient. We are full of desire too. He looks like he is full of his life force. We have goals. We want things from the universe. Many men that practice semen retention report an increase in desire for real women, or an increased motivation to study, or to get a job. But we are not desperate. We are attuned to the energy of the universe. So we know that great things take time. We know that we attract what we want, be it a college degree, a dream job, whatever. So, if a package from Amazon is being sent to our home in X amount of days, and you have proof of it, you won't be desperate. You simply wait for that gift to arrive and then you open it. Semen retention is like having ordered bliss, contentment, peace, and many other great things. As you know that they will arrive in your life, you are not anxious or desperate. This is the key. Semen retention makes you patient and full of desire. That's why we are happy. We want great things to happen, and we know that those things will happen. Lastly, if I had to define what a divine being is, I would say. A being that knows what he wants, is full of desire for it, and thinks and acts accordingly to get it. Semen retention equals patience plus desire equals divinity. So, when you don't ejaculate, you cannot hack your brain and body to reach heaven. You can only reach heaven by other means, eating proper food, helping other people, succeeding in life, Thinking good thoughts, doing or watching great art, listening, reading, music, planning your future, analyzing life, history. You literally say no to the greatest pleasure you can have, so you force yourself to find great pleasure with things that are external to you. That's why you become more social. You actually want the energy exchange with people that have good energy. That's why you become more attractive to women. Your body actually desires the opposite sex to procreate. And those women that vibrate near you can sense your virility, and Loki desire it. That's why you become more aggressive, and enough with able with other dudes, because your energy is so high that you can reach their energy with your powerful energy which means, you can punch the hell out of someone that wants to hurt you or attack you. That's why you become more positive towards what's good in the world. You start enjoying music more, and beautiful people, and people with good energy because your body craves great energy which you cannot obtain by orgasming. That's why you become more negative towards what's bad in the world. You know that evil and good actually exist. You know that preserving your seed is good. You know that ejaculating constantly is bad. You start perceiving those energies that parallel semen loss. Like eating junk food, being a very negative person, and self-harming. This is why semen retention makes you feel closer to the divine. Because you actually fill yourself with life.